Like, what the hell is this? Honestly. Honestly, this is really strange. I mean, we're here every night. I've never seen anything like this. That's really fucking strange. Yeah, not I. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so fucking strange. <laughs> Dude, what do you think it is? <laughs> Fucking your phone! what do you think it is? <laughs> Fucking your phone! It is. It's Shalom, Yasharala. All praises and glory goes to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekak, Wadash. The blindness to the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations unto the legman that's continually feeding the sheep of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. In sincerity and truth with his great gospel, man. With his great gospel. And as you could clearly see, deliverance is nigh, man. Deliverance is nigh. Because um, more and more they're seeing sightings of these chariots, the Heavenly Father, the Father's um, chariots, right? The so-called UFOs. And um, we've been saying this for a long time. We came here on slave ships, but we're leaving on space ships, so-called spaceships. And um, these so-called flying objects that they're seeing in the skies. And you see, this is in Vegas, right? You've seen them in Mexico. You've seen them in Chile. You've seen them in Europe. You've seen them everywhere. More and more, it's these sightings of what these um, chariots come alive. What do they represent? Matter of fact, here's Zachariah. Let me go to Zachariah. I'm going to read the word, the book of Zechariah 5 and 1 reads, Then I turned, and I lifted up mine eyes, and looked, and behold, a flying roll, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth, for every one that stealeth shall be cut off. See, this is a sign of destruction. This is a representation of a sign of destruction for who? <laughs> Everyone that stealeth. Right? Who's the one who's doing all the goddamn stealing on the face of the earth? Esau, Edom. Right? You're the thief. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I'm reading again the verse 3. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. And everyone's seen this curse more and more. More and more you've seen sightings of these chariots. More and more you've seen sightings of these chariots. And guess what? It is not a good thing for Babylon the Great. It's not a good thing for Babylon the Great. It's not a good thing for Esau Edom. That's the main reason Esau Edom has put a space force together, right? And they're trying to fight an entity that's coming from what the heavens, right? An entity coming from the heavens. So they've dealt, they've, they've encountered this entity before because there's military men who speak about different encounters with what unidentified flying objects in the skies, right? Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. And what most of the times that you've seen the chariots was what? Egypt, the times we were in captivity, right? You had slaves writing songs about sweet chariot coming to carry us home. Right? Jake was not singing about hopping on a fucking love boat and going back to Africa. Marcus Garvey bullshit. That's why the Lord got Marcus Garvey, right? 
you got to realize, it's a lot of you back to Africa as Israelites, man. That is not the doctrine. It's a lot of you Israelites. Let's build here in America. That is not the doctrine. Right? The doctrine is that um the elect is going to be saved through what? The deliverance of these chariots when Yahweh Shai returned with his angels. And from this song, Sweet Chariot, right? How, ooh, the chariots, right? The flying worlds. The clouds. The Lord said, I cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him, right? And Rita says, I looked over... I looked over Jordan. What did I see coming for to carry me home? And we, Jordan, that's over by Israel, right? There was a band of angels a coming after me, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to what? Carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to what? To carry me home. Carry me home. Yeah, these chariots are coming to deliver the Israelites and destroy these fucking Edomites. That's exactly why it says for salvation is of the Jews. Salvation. The Lord is coming to save Israelites from what the hands of their enemies, man. And our enemies are seeing more and more of these flying objects in the skies, right? Back to Zechariah 5 and 3. Then said he unto me, this is a curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into where the house of the thief. Yeah, the main place you've seen a lot of chariots is here in Babylon, the great America. In America. Who's the main people seeing chariots most of the time? Edomites. You Edomites. You so-called white people. You so-called Caucasians. You so-called Anglo-Saxons, right? That is a bad sign, man. That is a bad sign. You keep seeing these chariots because they're for your destruction. They're not for your deliverance, right? They're not for your good. They're for your demise. They're for your fucking demise. And um, these devils are too dumb to understand that, right? Bear with me. Bear with me. Here we go. Here we go. Verse 4 again, Zechariah 5 and 4. I will bring it forth, Seth, the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. And it and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof, man, because these chariots are here to destroy it, right? Right? They're going to shoot fire down on these motherfucking heathens. I'm going to go to the book of Isaiah 31 and 5, right? Because once you put these precepts together, man, you understand how the Lord is going to deliver us, right? Isaiah 31 and 5, As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem, right? And it's chariots. In these movies, man, these end-time movies show you UFOs, aliens. No, man, that's the Heavenly Father and His angels, man. That's the Heavenly Father and His angels. There ain't going to be no fucking monster-looking foreign entity coming here with multiple limbs and looking like a fucking animal, half animal, half ant, or half whatever they don't put together in their minds to create a monster for their Hollywood movies. No, it's going to be a man with black men with robes, with, with garments, right, with red eyes, coming to what destroy this fucking place. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem, defending also, he will de deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it, man. Because guess what? It's the end of Edom and the deliverance of Israel. The end of Edom and the deliverance of Israel. I'm going to go to the book of Revelation. Revelation 1 and 7. It reads, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierce him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. I'm going to read again. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Right? And what did the Lord say? Matter of fact, let me get that. What did